double check my inventory. I'm gonna keep those with me for now until it's necessary to, for me to drop them just in case. I'm trying to recall what the gas tank was even for. Switch over to him. I guess it was just to maybe burn zombie bodies. Oh, if I need it, I'll just come back for it. Should be good. Well, if it's similar to Spencer's mansion, I must well just go this way. Since there are gas, there's gas here. I must well. I was supposed to take it with me, and I wonder if it will stack with the other one I left behind. And since I am going to probably, oh no, 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 no! I didn't even hear the door open. I wonder if those things could actually follow you. I kill anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. So, it's a puzzle. Oh, come on. I don't want to waste any ammo. this up. Come on. stuff. Uh, fire emblem. Alright, so this means he'll reanimate when I get back. Because I thought he would, might be carrying something. this already. Well, that's a lucky shot. Do recall this. I actually have to find the missing wing for this, and then there's an angel statue. And then put on like some kind of scale.
Oh, bad time to reload. Almost out of handgun bullets. If anything, I might as well just heal them up, but both uh, up. Yeah, might as well let her use that, and then she could just fork over that ammo. Back to him. Be a lot faster to do it this way. it. It's only going to take a few more moments. And then move on. Oh, it's now unlocked. Well, lucky me. place. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corporations. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facil facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves in the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. All right. I know I saw that shotgun ammo over there, but I'm just trying to see if there's anything else lying around. Oh, I guess not. Actually, I'm going to switch to her since she is the one with the shotgun. I, I don't care about the painting. just in case. Actually, can I just leave the demon statue thing here and then grab it later? Oh, no, I can't. Unless it allows me to leave it. Yeah, I'll come back and grab, grab it a little later. Remember, 
Here, this is where crows will bust in as soon as I grab something. Um, notice to all staff. This document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agent teams must be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor, west operations control room. Second floor, southeast meeting room. Entry code show B815. Thank you. Okay. So, I need to adjust a clock or put in that code for 815. Crank handle. I don't remember where that goes. I'm just going to run around for a moment. There's nothing else. Get me out. I'm not going to sit there and fight every single enemy. Just so you know. It's a waste of time and ammo. And possibly even health. Uh, door's locked, but there doesn't seem to be a cool hole anywhere at the top. Part is engraved with the image of a clock. Okay, that does not help me much. Locked from the other side. Or where I do that. actually. I need a system disk for that. Now where? Oh, where? Is that at? Okay, so that door is locked. That was the one area that we went to. Wait. See, this is why maps are super helpful. Now I have the official map for the area. Four um, yeah. ink ribbons were a little more of like a scarcity in this whole entire game. Well, at least with like many of the Resident Evil games. Yeah, I'm not messing with that yet, because I know there's this little puzzle and this the disc. Or, film. Okay, well, since Billy has the lighter, I swear if I come back to this later and I do the same thing and all of a sudden it works, I'm going to be upset. You stay here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Nope. I didn't mean that. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Okay. There we God. I don't care about that. Yeah, bright idea. Bring up someone you. There we 
There we go. Bring that to Billy. First and reload. All right, should be golden. Well, should be. No promises. Ah, there ain't crap. Besides that her, but I don't need that right now. Oh, wait. I think I remember this place. Um, was there something way over here? No. Okay. So I'm going to go down the stairs right over here in the right. Thing I've always liked the sound design of the Resident Evil games. Give it like a surreal kind of feeling. I think this is a little more of like a nostalgia trip. Where, like, I can say, a lot of the Resident Evil games give me a little bit of a nostalgia trip. Or better yet, a lot. I don't care about the painting. I want the shotgun ammo. And I saw the grenade launcher. What a mod water motif. Oh. Joy. And I'm trying to... Uh, let me check the next room because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some way to get Billy up here so I can actually collect all this stuff. Uh, which one does this open up though? Oh. Okay. So Billy's right over there. So if anything, switch over to him and have him go to me. Now I'm hoping those zombies aren't up. Yep, they're up. But I can get right past that one. Luckily. Go this way and then through the double doors. So we're gonna have to collect that angel statue and then grab the grenade launcher. Come on. Okay. Dang it. There we go. And then grab the angel statue. This group broken. Stop ticking altogether. Okay. Uh, 
think me and her are supposed to be turning these cranks. I know there's a boss battle here in a few moments. Anything I would rather exchange. Take that. Then exchange for that. Kind of doubt that he's going to be needing the health. I think it's good. Oh, dang, I didn't mean to move. I thought it was going to automatically switch to Rebecca, but I guess not. damage over time from this thing. I don't know if you could actually hurt her from, uh, no, don't, yeah, uh, here we go. Hopefully I have enough ammo for this. Take that handgun ammo off of her. Yeah, all of it. Uh, yeah, exchange this for the shoddy. Whatever you run across. Shotgun. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch things around again since there's not item box for some reason in this game. Uh, I'm gonna check my map here and can see if there's anything I have left around this area. Actually switch over to her and this is going to be the fire design key and that is downstairs through the kitchen or in the dining room that leads to the kitchen but I don't know if there's any other doors that has that at least not from what I recall Most likely all those zombies are back up. 
Yeah, bigger as much. Okay, since it didn't tell me to discard it, so this means there is another door I can use the key on. how you make the Molotov cocktails, but my thing is, what's the point of having gasoline if there's going to be lighter fluid? Wait, oh, is that supposed to be for Billy? Yeah, let me, let me test that real quick. Is it because his lighter is out of fuel? I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Okay, so. We got the letter fluid. And then. So I'm guessing it's the bottles with the gasoline. That way I could make Molotov cocktails. So now. I'm going to have to run all the way back to that one room on the second floor. And to light that candle, go in there, if I remember, there's a zombie, and then there's something else in there. For now, I need to run. I'm trying to remember where that door was at. Okay. What's the microfilm A4? And I know there's another one, but... I... What room is it? Is it for the projector? Projector for a different room. Good save. Well, all right, all right. Sesame. Okay, so there's more than one zombie. I'll drop. Oh, grenade launcher round. I grab that one to get back down. Town is because Rebecca's in the way. Let's split up. Roger. Out of the way. It's because Rebecca was in the way. This is where the angel wing or wings are in. Yep. Okay. Fine. That's completed. Now I need to get a hold of. Um. I went brain dead for a moment there. The demon wings. Come on. Okay. Alright, 
I should probably combine that to the grenade launcher. So I save up or open up a space. I'll have Billy hold on to that unless she is running low. One shotgun shell, 13 bullets. I think she'll be fine for now. Oh no, that's ink ribbon, but uh -huh. okay. Thought there might be something special about that computer, but no, guess not. Toss it out. Oh, I'm forced to push this. Okay. Shot, uh, the handgun ammo right now. I think it's Billy. Oh, look at that. And a case of shotgun shells over there. Switch over to Rebecca. No, I, I don't care about the globe. Just grab the Why is the shotgun ammo always somewhere that it's just, for some reason, just so dumb to try to get? I'm not gonna say it's it's bad or poor game design, it's more of it's annoying. Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Goller Will, Practical AI. Or practical owl. They are really opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to discur oh to encourage a ri rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Well, who knew those two would become the best of friends? That's a clock hand. Okay, well that just means I'm gonna have Billy grab it if, as long as he has room for it. for this clock, but I guess it is for something. I can't remember. I remember some key things and maybe like, well not key things, but like key points. But when it comes down to like the puzzles, since I was like, like I said last time I played this game, 
I was like 12, so I can't really, you know, remember what much. this thing go to? There was that, there was that grandfather clock, but it says it's so busted up it's not going to work anymore. I don't have any other keys. There has to be something I missed. back there with the crows. Yes. Uh, the minute hand to the right because we want eight fifteen. Our hand. There we go. judge me. Okay, go ahead and judge me. I don't really care. So, the only thing I really want to say while I am going through all this is sometime... Let's see. I would say at the end of next month, beginning of January, me and my friend th that are collabing together on uh, YouTube. If you're a fan of Resident Evil, we're going to be playing Resident Evil Outbreak File 1 and 2. We're going to be streaming either on here or on Twitch. And if you're interested, please do comment down below. And if you don't have the game, don't worry about it. There's ways of getting it. Uh, by the way, since it's kind of like an outdated old game, not too many Capcom can't even make a profit off of it, uh, you are able to get it for free, in a sense. I don't promote piracy or anything like that. If you're going to buy a game, just, just buy the game. Don't pirate it. These guys worked so hard on these video games that it's just not fair if you just go and pirate it from all their hard work, like from like months to years on a game. And then someone just goes around and just pirates it and just say, oh, it's a great game. I'm not gonna pay a dime for it. That's not cool. Imagine if you were working on a video game or a movie for so many years, months and years, and then all of a sudden someone just takes it and, you know, doesn't pay it. That's not cool. 
But yeah, just let me know down in the comments below if you want in on it. And when the, uh, like a week, a few days to a week before it happens. Oh, I need to pay attention. A few days to a week before it happens, I will, uh, set up a video of how to, uh, get it. And how to, uh, download it. And of course, set it up on the, uh, Japanese server since there's only, um, Japanese servers that are going out of their way to actually have the game still being able to play it online. And me and my friend also on top of that, we are planning on doing a Discord thing so everyone that, you know, likes us so on and so forth could actually be over there and just have our own like small gaming community from not just Resident Evil but you know multiple different other uh, multiplayer games I didn't read that it's a microphone projector if you had some microphone you could put it on the screen I like how they're they have a Nintendo switch right there no not a switch it's a Wii Nintendo Wii I need to excuse me if I say excuse me I'm coughing okay that's something to do with the room well there's handgun ammo I'm gonna have Billy grab that Where was that other block above? It was in the main hall, wasn't it? Yeah. I have to go back there now. And I have to run past this huge guy. with me after he got hit. If not, then I have to switch over and we can get him out of there. Yep, we're gonna have to get him out of there. It's a total waste to fight against these, uh, Leech Man. I mean, because even if when, if you shoot it, like a headshot, or you do enough damage to it, all it's gonna do is split, and then his legs will walk up to you and blow up. So. Let's regroup. Roger. Not wasting any time with that. Molotov cocktails? Yeah, no big deal. But as you can see, I... Not going to be running that. Because as far as I know, there's only like one bottle in that kitchen. Only make one Molotov. Oh, please. No thanks. Um... right now I think I'm not doing too bad but I'm not doing too great either why why is there zombies in every room well it's basically every room where's the other one done. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone. Pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven.
pretty sure that poem is meant for a puzzle. But as of right now, I don't think it's of importance. There seems we have taken out. Wonder what that picture is or was, I should say. And I should have hit up this room first before going down there. Because this was a total waste of time. You're the same mistake I just did. If you're playing this game. View insert. Jeez. Keep on trap mash through it. Okay. Got the mo disc. Microfilm image and image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B numbers appear in the seats and of the conference room. Okay. I'm not gonna heal right now, not until they're in danger. room thing. Pretty sure it's a puzzle on its own self. back here. Okay. So hit this one. And then this one back here. I'll go. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do this full terror. Goes here, then heartbeat over to her to do it. Okay. Come on. Okay. 
Alright. So I'm just gonna leave the, the video here for now. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you, I do appreciate it. And I'm just gonna do a reminder once again, if you're interested in uh, doing Resident Evil Outbreak with me and my friend, or even if it's just me, the first people to drop comments down below that they're interested in doing so, I will get a hold of you, and then we can work uh, on you getting it from there. But if anything, thank you. I, once again, I do appreciate you guys watching this video always to the end, and take care.